Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And in this video, I have more footage of the version 10 software that's been released to early access or beta users. So as you can see now on the screen, you can actually rotate your view. So like before you were only able to see from behind the car, kind of in, you know, if you play third person shooter games, kind of like behind your character. So that's the only view you were able to see. So now you're able to 360 rotate all the way around the car and you have also have a lot more detail. But before we get into this video, I wanna clear something up. The car that you see here is not my car. These are my cars, right? So one of my subscribers in the early access program was gracious enough to let me film his car with the version 10 software. So huge shout out to them because without them, you wouldn't be seeing this footage. Now, what you can see here is you can actually pinch to zoom and rotate the car 360 degrees, and it actually gives you a lot more detail. You can see just how awesome the Model 3 looks, and all, you see all there, oncoming traffic, which is really cool, and I'll get more into that later in the video. And I also have a V10 autopilot test coming up in the video too. So as you can see there, the car, not the Model 3, but the other van that's rendered on the screen actually will turn. Now the automatic lane changes, I'm not gonna go over in this video because it basically performs the same way besides the bluing and it shows you where the car is gonna go to. But other than that, it performs the exact same. So you can see all those cars oncoming, which is really cool to see. And if we go to a bird's eye view, and if you look closely, you can see where that turn lane is there is a turn lane right to the left of my car and it now shows dash lines if the car is able to kind of move over into a lane now we have a double yellow line which it shows on the screen accurately with a solid line on the right hand side of the road and you can see that car that was behind me along with the car that was in front of me which is really cool now it shows cars that are really far behind you because you can zoom out you can see there in the rear view mirror now here's some more oncoming traffic and we are able to change lanes here and you saw in the UI that trucks are now rendered. You can see the truck there, which is really cool. So Tesla pickup, is that what it's gonna look like? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. So here we are, you can see the dash lane in the middle and you can actually see it's rendering the cars on the other side of this divided highway. So there is a median and it's rendering these cars on the other side of the highway, which is so cool. I mean, it just shows you how far ahead Tesla's vision system is. Now take a look right here. You can see the car on the other side of that divided highway there and it's rendering not only that turn lane there with the dash lines, but also the cars on the other side of the road too, which is really cool. You can see the lane that I'm in and the dash lines there, but also you can see the solid line on the right-hand side of the road, so it's able to know that that's the edge of the road. And of course, the turn lane right there, uh, which we saw earlier in this little clip. So super cool. I mean, just the fact that you can do kind of like almost drone shot of your car using the UI, at, see how it's kind of at an angle, like almost like if a drone was following your car. Um, and then when you don't touch the screen for a while, it does automatically go back to that default view, which is nice. And then you can zoom out again. Now it's very easy to use too. I mean, it's just like you would expect, kind of like using an iPhone or using Google Maps on your phone. I mean, it's just pinch to zoom and you can simply rotate just as you would expect. So you can see here these cars being rendered along with the dash lane lines. And it's just, I mean, it does a phenomenal job, even an intersection right here. Okay, so in this next clip, I want you to look closely at the road. So you can see that this is going from two lanes to one lane and just how much information we can see. We can see this arrow in the rear view camera uh, telling us that we need to get over because it's going into one lane. So autopilot's not engaged here, but take a look at what the touch screen is showing us. It's showing us that it knows that it's going into that double yellow line and you can see in the rear view camera that the lines curved exactly like you saw, which is really impressive. So here's an upcoming turn lane with dashed lines and take a look at the UI. You're gonna see it add that lane almost immediately with the dash lanes. So it's identifying it almost immediately and it's able to find that turn lane really, really quickly. So I definitely wanna do another video when I get version 10 in my car testing out these new lane changes.
So you can see here, it's able to render that oncoming traffic really precisely, which is really impressive too. And now that that turn lane has turned to a solid, we have two solid lines and then it goes to a double yellow line because of where we are on the road here, you can see. So now we're in autopilot and if you look closely, you can see that left lane line is still a double yellow line. And we were kind of tricked the system here a little bit covering up the B pillar camera but surprisingly, it was still able to render the vehicles really accurately, which is impressive. So continuing down the road, you can see these lane lines are fixed and we can rotate 360 degrees like I was showing you, which could come in handy. I mean, this pinch to zoom and being able to see the almost side view of your car. I love that almost like drone shot that you get in the user interface of your car. Now, the thing I love most, I think, about this is the fact that you can see other cars much further than when you were kind of stuck in a particular view in the user interface. So if I zoom out here and go all the way, you can see just how massive the field of view is. And after a couple seconds, then it will go back to the standard view, which is nice that way you're not kind of stuck in, a, you know, a bird's eye or other view. I guess that would be nice if they included an option to do that. But I do kind of like this uh, early GTA view of the Model 3, which is pretty cool. So if we use this user interface and rotate the car 180 degrees and look at, try to zoom in as close as we can, get to the front of the car, that's all we can see. Um, but you can see that car way behind us and it did render it pretty close to the back of our car. Uh, I'm sure using just the rear camera is hard to identify uh, depth uh, as far as cars behind us. So it did pick up a car behind us there, although there is nobody behind us. You can see we're on a road here with no lane markings, but look closely at the screen because you're actually going to see oncoming traffic, that Jeep right there, which is cool that it's still picking up that other cars even though there is no lane markings. So I think in autopilot and as we progress into full self-driving, having this user interface where you can kind of see more in detail what the car is seeing is going to make users of the autopilot system a lot more comfortable. So we are going to do a autopilot test here, testing on a road that I've tested before that has just lane lines, very short. But first, if you're in the market to buy a Tesla, SX or three, or even Tesla Solar, use my referral code and you can get 2000 miles of free supercharging right now. So click the link down below in the description and order today. So this version 10 autopilot test is going to be enabled and then the lane lines are gonna go away. Here's footage from my old test that I've done where autopilot will still maintain position on the right hand side of the road, although go back and look at my video because you'll see it does not perform as good as we're going to see here with the version 10 test. So this is version 10 testing on a road with no lane lines and it's doing a really good job sticking to this right hand side. It's almost hugging this right hand side of the road. It's like it knows that this is the edge of the road so it's going to stick with what it knows versus Kind of spreading itself out like we've seen if you look at my previous videos of this stretch of road you'll see that the sometimes the autopilot will kind of take itself down the middle and even around this curve it's still hugging that right hand side which is really really impressive for a road with zero lane lines on it and to be just hugging that right hand side now here it does pick up that other lane on that side and it does go over to the left hand side and let's see what it's gonna do here. And now it's hugging that left side, so we're gonna take over just to be safe. Very cool stuff there, and you can be sure that I'm gonna be testing more version 10 as soon as my cars get it. But this user interface is really beautiful, and I do like how you can see oncoming traffic, and you can just see how accurately it's able to render all of these cars. Now take a look on the right hand side of the screen, this cyclist here. First, it looks like it's just a person standing and then the user interface switches to a bicyclist. But what's interesting is it's showing its path of travel as coming at me versus before you've only seen cyclists that would be rendered facing the same way that your car is facing on the user interface. So really cool how Tesla was able to change that and show not only oncoming traffic, but also oncoming cyclists as well. 
Now we're also getting some cool stuff talked about at Autonomy Day in that the Tesla vision system is seeing things and showing you things that are not within your lane. So really cool to see that progression. If you guys haven't seen yet, I do have an Amazon shop. So click the link down below and you can see everything that I recommend. If you're new to the Tesla community, welcome. If you just got a Model 3 and you wanted some, let's say, know what the best products are to put in the exterior car, I do have them listed here from Nikola Pro, which are the best door handle covers, chrome delete kit, which I'm going to test later this week. And for the inside, I have the floor mats that I've done reviews on. Everything is conveniently located, including what you need to set up your Tesla dash cam and stuff for the center console as well. Not to mention, if you're just curious on what I use to do my videos, I have all those products listed here. And I also have the outdoor power tools that I use. So those are mostly from Ego because I think that's the best stuff out there. And don't forget cleaning your Tesla. I also have all those products here. So click the link down below and check all those things out over at my Amazon shop. Click the link down below and head over to Patreon and support this channel for as little as $1 a month. Higher tiers actually get early access to all of my YouTube videos, which is pretty cool. Huge shout out to my all electric tier supporters, our man Amin and Akram Atul. Thank you so much, guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.